Hey, doing it's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2021 Chevy Suburban. Hey, doing it, it's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. We're checking out this 2021 Chevy Suburban first responder vehicle for the Bellevue Fire District. So take a look up top. Uh, first off, sound off signals, blueprint electrical system. Uh, sync and link modules to give them uh, the ultimate configuration and flexibility with the vehicle on top of the blueprint system featuring uh, the new dual color new n fuse bar uh, we are currently in our drive response mode so you can see we have our white flashing we have a centina pb 450l custom with four lights in the front and then two lights on the side all in tri-color to give them the white flood features for your takedown, your left and right alley. You can see the graphics package was installed by VSP Graphics. So taking a look at the side, you can see the rest of the custom uh, graphics layout that VSP did for the vehicle. Um, it's their first responder EMS vehicle, so the vehicle will be going out for uh, any EMS calls that they're going on. Uh, dual deck grill end forces in the rear side window. Taking a look at the back, up top, eight module exterior arrow stick from sound off signal with the m power kit uh, we're flashing the parking lights via the blueprint electrical system we've done an led uh, bulb upgrade in the back also for them we have sound off signals new uh, seven by three m powers with the silicone lens mounted and then we also have a kuzmol auto eject that's tied into their uh, battery charger Four inch M powers on the rear hatch lip along with strip lighting throughout the vehicle to light up the medical storage area. Um, we have our cabinet on our replacement floor with a slide master 100% extension slide out. We've got two drawers with medical supplies. And then we have a large equipment area on the one side. And then when the cabinet extends, We have storage behind the drawers, and then we also have a glove holder pocket up top along with some additional storage at the back. What's nice about this is they can uh, slide the cabinet out, get access to it, or while the cabinet's still inside the vehicle, they can flip down the seat and get access to whatever they need. Uh, we also have pre-wire for power, ground, and 110 volt on the cabinet. Taking a look at the back, you can see the glove storage area up top that they can gain access to with uh, laying the seats down. They can store other equipment on the back side of it. And then you can see we have one of our replacement floors installed and we have all of our electronics components installed underneath the cabinet, giving them uh, easy access and still having everything serviceable. And the new trucks were not able to mount the equipment underneath the seats, so we're utilizing the replacement floor that levels everything out and gives us a great sturdy mounting platform for the um, slide master taking a look at the inside to start up top we have our uh, Motorola speaker recessed into our headliner with our custom bracket that allows that speaker to be removed and be serviceable we've got a sound off signal dual color dome light we've got a Havis um, laptop mount mounted to the side of the console to help keep uh, the passengers foot area clean uh, still very sturdy mounting platform and then we have one of their iPad docking stations and then we can just kind of rotate it, get it out of the way. Uh, one of our custom wood consoles with our HDPE faceplate. Uh, we've got outlets for 12 volt USB. Uh, we have a, a door open alarm to let them know that they may have one of the compartment doors open if the vehicle's in drive. And then we also have the battery indicator to show them the status of that when the vehicle's charging. Mobile radio cut in. We have our uh, blueprint controller. Uh, with our knob um, we have functions for arrow stick the cruise light low power just an amber flashing and then we have our scene functions for left alley takedown right alley and rear scene our pa mic and then we've also reprogrammed our, our radio rebroadcast button to control the low frequency siren that's installed in it we have our cup holders with our pen holders cut in we've got our small three inch pocket and then we have a large storage compartment for binders and then we have our adjustable armrest mounted to the side. Thanks for checking out this week's build showcase. We hope you like our first 2021 Chevy Suburban. 
Uh, if you have any questions about this vehicle or us building a vehicle better suited to fit your needs, please reach out to us. Feel free to like, comment, share the video. We'd love to help you out with your next project.